guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki. This is the first time, and for those who's been watching, thank you so much for coming back. So we're doing the house plant tour part two. <laughs> my son's finding sleep. Um, I could combine it into one, but then I think it'll wait it'll be way too long. So let's just do part two. So I'm gonna um switch the camera. Okay, so let's start from the shelf, I guess. So I'm this most of my plants are on this shelf actually i'm sorry let's <laughs> let's not start from the shelf because i have one right here so this is the one um it's my tellurium this is a closed terrarium i have uh gosh, it's a little font so i need to maybe clean it um wipe the inside anyway so this is my seal tellurium and um i have a two photonia like green and red and then i don't know if you can see it but um there's um heart leaf heart leaf and the heart shaped burn right by the green um tellurian gosh i can't i don't know if i could find the right angle maybe this is a better yeah i don't know if you can see a little two three vines or two vines like sticking out they're still there. Um, I had a uh, Tellurian update video uh, last month, I think. After that, I decided to add another Fitonia because I love the way it looks. So I got a red one. I also have a pink one I thought I would add, but decided to pot it somewhere else because it's so pretty. So this has been sealed more than three months. Well, I did open it once when I had to um, repot this red one in, but it's sealed pretty much every day. I don't open it at all. And you can see the condensation on one side, but it's not all the way, so it's okay. But if it's like this all the way, you need to let it open because it means it's too much water. Right now, this is, um, it's okay because um, it's already have a natural um, echo, like water cycle going on. So it's okay. So this is my tellurium. I would like to make another one because it's so it's so cute and nice and it's so therapeutic making one. Okay, we're gonna go up. Let's start from the top. So this is my um it's an IKEA shelf. I'm sure you've seen it in most of the people's videos. It's like a popular shelf for a plant shelf. Um so here on top this is my watering can, jug, jug, or jar. Got it for Christmas. So I have, I hate this bluish lamp. Should I turn it off? I don't like it. Let's turn it off. Oh, oh excuse me. I'm sorry. So here. So this is on a current thing because I found Mealybug. But um, Hindu rope, and this is like my, it's been it like two weeks and a half since I treat it. I'm still like spraying every weekend because, well, I didn't see it yesterday, but like before, um, um, I guess last week I found another one. So they're still there, but maybe it's not there anymore because I didn't see any yesterday. But um i'm gonna keep it here for quarantine for another two weeks or so <clears throat> just in case because i don't want any mealybugs spreading and and this jar is my precious silver dragon my friend gave me here we go oh look it's growing can you see so I got this silver dragon cutting from a friend that I recently made as a plant friend. She was lining up at the pop-up store in front of me and we just started talking and now like we're friends and like before that even we're friends like when we're just lining up and became friends on Instagram. And she said that she would give me a cutting of her silver dragon because I couldn't afford one. <laughs> so that's really nice of her. And my um, not so pretty, but um, begonia tamaya. 
It's it's not growing, but it's it's not doing that well either. Cause they lost a lot of leaves. Yeah, begonia is the kind that I struggle with. I have two other begonia and that's not doing I mean it's not thriving. So and back here is an anthurium. What do you call this anthurium? Um anthurium. <laughs> it's the one with the red flower, <laughs> waxy type of flower. Um did they have a name? Anthurium something? Anyway, I'll put it there. Um, it's staying good. It used to be on the fireplace, but I moved it up here, and I think it's it's producing new leaves and new growth, so that's good. And here's my um, lemon lime maranta prayer plant. Um, it used to be where uh, below the lamp where the philodendrons are, but. I decided to move it up here. I hope it'll it's it's good. I mean it's producing a lot of new leaves, so I think it's doing good. And why don't we go down here? Okay, so I have uh skin ductus pictus agularius. It's agularius here and then I think this is a silver and silver satin potos or silver and potos or is it the same thing I'm not sure because I thought I have bought a silver and but I don't see now I realize I thought they have more white spots I mean on this it could have been the same maybe I bought the same thing and <laughs> my little spider plant that I got it from the plant swap and um oh what, what kind of peperomia are you I forgot but this is thriving under this LED light this is the, the light I got <coughs> it wasn't even sold as a LED, LED light I mean grow light <laughs> I mean <laughs> but it's 6,000 K is it calcius or something and 2700 limonin I think so it's doing good these peperomias are as you can see blooming and they're like blooming towards the light same as this ripsalis these guys are like crazy it's growing like so fast and they're like all going towards this light so they're all good and it was the light was really cheap too and here I have a polka dot, the pink polka dot plant. These guys are growing too. They're doing so well. And my um, happy bean, happy bean peperomia. That's so cute too. They're also blooming or maybe finished blooming. Oops, it's a little battery. Uh, this one is curly spider plant. This guy gone through so many things. I dropped him a couple times and <laughs> tried to split him and didn't like to be split. So I went put it back and then just left it alone and now it's finally coming back. I decided not to touch him anymore. And here's my J Satin Potos. Is that J Satin Potos? That's a beautiful leaf. <clears throat> I love the leaves. They're so beautiful. This guy just produced a new leaf, which is very light color, so pretty. And so that's going down to the, um, so this is my fungus nut trap right here. I don't know, I don't, I hardly see any, so, but just in case, because I do see it once in a while. Okay, coming down here, here is my, um, it's just my orchid. I don't know what kind of orchid, but I got it from the plant swap. And then I really, I didn't really care about the orchid. I just wanted to, uh, the pot that I had in. So <laughs> sorry, orchid. But then I wanted to experiment if it could grow in water because I heard that they do grow in water. So I'm just experimenting to see if it does. And it's, it's producing new leaves and new little, is that a, stem or roots 
but I staying good. And it's a pearl, string of pearls. Got it from the plant swaps. They're tiny, so I mean they're you know you can see two new growths, but I don't know. I they look the same from the last summer. <laughs> and my uh, string of turtles. These are doing really well. They grow so fast here. Look, they were not trailing before when I got it. And this is from the plant swaps too. And it's growing really, doing so well. And next one, this is my begonia that I'm struggling with. This is a begonia Elsa. I got a cutting last year. And it used to have a big leaf on this side too. Excuse me, but I lost it. And then a new one came out. Hopefully it won't lose another leaf. And I have uh, Begonia Macurata, which I used to have a new growth here, but it's not doing well. I don't know what's going on. I do have a humidifier running a few hours here. So, and a fern that came with the other assortment plant and the flower, uh, the money tree, I need to put more water. Sorry, that's really dirty. <laughs> I do need to wipe, don't I, in the trap. And this is my um, Philodendron Burl Mar Marks. This one looks really variegated. It's so, it's so pretty, don't they? I thought I was gonna lose these, cause the color, cause it's kinda yellow, but it's, it's there, it's fine, and I love the pattern on it. And these are the new leaves, so they're very shiny and so lush green. And my ZZ Raven back here. Um, one stem, it, it, as you can see, this one died because from, I think, underwatering because it didn't water at all. Thinking I was too afraid to like overwater and then apparently it was from underwater. They started losing all the leaves and dried up. Uh, but these are two new leaves, two new growths. So they're so beautiful. I can't believe they're gonna turn black after this. And this is my um, Sensiveria cylindrica. Is it cylindrica? Um, it's producing babies, lots of babies around it. This one as well. I got this one from a friend. And this guy, this is a new one recently, and then it's producing another two babies. They're really cute. And here's my another Echeveria. I'm growing in water. It's been more than three months. That's doing okay. So, I think I'm gonna keep it like this to grow in water. Um, and then let's go down here. Okay, so these are my philodendrons, my um, white princess. It's so beautiful, isn't it? I love this. Like white splashes and the split leaves. And my philodendron lush doesn't look lush. It's yellowing. I think I just need to trim that. Uh, it's it's got new leaf, so I think it's okay. And my pink princess, philodendron pink princess, trying to unfurl. Um, There's another one right there. It looks so weird. The color. I mean, I thought it was a worm when I saw it, like a snail or something that was climbing on my plant, but because it's pink and shiny. And my other, this is the pink nerve plant, pink phytonia. I was going to put it in the terrarium, but decided not to because it's so pretty. So I decided to pot it here. And my beautiful Syngonium alvo, the variegata. I don't know what happened, but this guy is not going to unfurl. As you can see, the top part is a little browning. I think it's from dry, drying dry air because we were out on the trip and I didn't have a humidifier or anything so but there's two more new leaves so 
Hopefully, I'll be okay. And then there's my Hoya Obubada. I got this last year, um, was it October or so? And it has produced three leaves already. These guys are fast grower. I was so surprised to know this. Like, the thick, big leaves, how long it takes for them to grow. It's pretty fast. They grow so fast. And here is um, variegated Hoya uh, Compacta. I used, to, I used to put it next to each other with the other one, but as soon as I found the mini bug, I decided to put it where Hoya, other Hoyas are. And my variegated Hoya Carrii. Um, I do see a new leaf, but it has not grown since I got them. Even this one on top, it has not grown, but it's not dying either. So maybe just need to wait until the springtime. And um, my this one is I guess you call it a tissue cultured tetrasperma. I have the other one, the non tissue culture one as well. And this one's a fast grower. It's producing a lot of new leaves. And um, I don't know, they look very different from the other one. I have a video about that difference if you're interested. And my blue star, <laughs> which is barely alive, but I have it, I have him like this since two, three months, and he's hanging in there. There's no new leaves, but he's hanging in there. Um, okay, so I love this my new humidifier oh my gosh i'm sorry i'm gonna move it where the big one is it's nice because i could just rotate this big um rotate it like half a day you know it gets this shell gets humidifier and then after a few hours i could put it somewhere else it's really nice, portable. You can take it when you're traveling. Um, I do have a link in my um, detail um, down below if you're interested. But um, I recommend this. And okay, so that was all of the shelf plant. And then next here, okay, I need to get a chair. It's my Chinese money plant by Leo the Romeo it is. So this guy, I had to repot him because I realized he was being overwatered because I didn't have a drainage hole um, in this pot before. But I could tell that from the black, you know, this this one and then like there's a white spots that you could tell. Like see the white spots? That means it could be from the excess water, like too much water in the like in the soil so i did check and there was a lot of water on the bottom part so i um made a drainage hall and then put him back in here and now he's okay i mean he's producing a lot of new leaves he's happy and next to it is another um it's a red red line or red pear plant so what do you call it? I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I think it's, I mean, it's producing new leaves, but why is this happening? Do you guys know? Is this too much light? I, I need some, I mean, this is from drying. I know that, but like some of these, what's wrong with this plant? Is this too much light? This one is really velvety, like um, almost reminds me of like moth. <laughs> but yeah, some of the color on the leaves are not sure. What is it happening? So that was all of my plants in this dining room and living room. This is what it looks like from where I'm standing. It's finally like showing, like look like a little jungle vibe, isn't it? 
and up here I really love it I think I'm gonna try to see I used to have a shelf where you could see like those ugly dots I try to att have attempted to put a shelf there but it didn't work I just couldn't figure out the um, the what do you call this the wall wall thingy drywall thing I couldn't figure it out like I tried so many other things and talked to the staff but they they weren't really helpful so I gave up so I need to cover that cover up the ugly stuff I think I'm gonna do a basket um, the wall decor so when I'm done with that maybe I could do a maybe I could do a DIY video doing that decor and let's go into my bedroom or our bedroom sorry it's not so pretty but um, here is my Maranta, not, uh, not Maranta, Kalithia Trio Star. That's just a big one that we have. It was uh, from my friend. He's doing really good. So pretty. It's really big. So he sits here. And then to the next. This is the Monstera I adopted from my... Uh, neighbor my plant neighbor she had a um, problem with the I said millipedes yeah millipedes not centipede um, I have a video as well uh, explaining about the difference between centipedes and millipedes and there were a lot of millipedes in there so I changed the pot changed the soil washed it really well and repot it back um, since then it's okay. It's got a new leaf. This one is so pretty. I do need to make a um, totem pole or something for him to stand up a little because it's like every time I get off the bed and try to walk through here because it's it's really narrow. I keep like I don't mean to but like keep banging into you. I'm sorry. And let's see, why don't we go around. So this is my husband's size side table. I put a Sensevieria snake plant. Um, it's producing a lot of new growth too. And it's gotten so tall. And then next to it is the one, uh, the money plant. Um, I don't know if you've seen the video about the repotting challenge video that me and my husband did last, is it two weeks ago or, yeah, or so. Um, I think it's funny, so if you haven't watched it, go watch. But uh, my husband actually had this plant in Japan for a long time. Like he had a, like at least five years old one. He had it in his office. But of course we have to move, so we give it away. There's another stained glass lamp. And on our bed is the Kiss. I think it's called Kiss, isn't it? This is also from the sea market. And here, this is little experiment I'm doing. As his hanged upside down. I know some people don't like it like this, but this this guy wasn't doing well anyway when I was propagating so I decided why not put him upside down and see how it does and then I saw a new growth coming out so let's see and here let's back up so you can see better the whole view is my favorite corner of my bedroom that's my side of the bedside table, side table or what do you call it. And I have a baby Monstera Deliciosia. I got it from the plant swap. It's got a new leaf coming. So cute. And then I have um, Alocasia Serena or Sedina Serena. Put it up. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. It's very beautiful. It's getting a little leggy. So <clears throat> I put a pole up and let it stand up tall. 
And up here is my uh, Skin Depsis Pictus Exotica. I used to have it on a little shelf where the fish tank is, but I decided why not move it in my bedroom because I love it so much. It's training so fast. It grows so fast too. This guy is a fast grower. And then there's uh, my Tenanti um, Burl Marks something something. <laughs> I fell in love with those leaves. I, I saw it um, in November, actually like from November. And I don't know why I didn't buy it back then. I think I wanted to buy something else. And this was a little um, out of reach. So I was like, I'll come back next time. And then when I did went back for it, it was sold out. But um, the nursery I always go to was restocking it. So I went to go pick her up. And now it's in my bedroom. This plant gets really like tall. Not like the other... Um, her plant they do like grow tall it's very interesting that's so beautiful and another stained glass lamp I got it from we got it from the flea market so I think that's the end of the end of the whole plant tour let me show you this side of the wall these are the newborn pictures of my sons they were both 10 days old when they were born and they're so cute and then the picture in the middle is um the artist called um heather brown she's a hawaiian artist we got it in hawaii i really like her art um i want to get some more uh but if you're interested you should check her website because she does a lot of this like hawaiian island picture mostly nature and they're really beautiful so so these are all my plants and thank you so much for watching this i'm sure it was a long video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye